All right, if any of you have seen my bathroom fitness video, and I'll put a link to it up here. If you've seen my bathroom fitness challenge, then you know I have apparently a thing for exercising in bathrooms because I'm going to tell you again right now another way that you can fit a quick movement routine into a bathroom. But this time we're going to talk about an airplane bathroom, which is really tiny. Obviously, it's very tiny. So anytime you're in um, on a flight, you're going to want to fit some movement into that flight. Break it up. There's so much sitting in, and really you, it's important for your comfort and also for the health of your circulation to get up and move. So even if you don't have to use the bathroom, go to the bathroom or do this in the hallway, although people might look at you funny. So maybe go to the bathroom. It takes about 90 seconds tops. So you're going to go into the bathroom, tiny little bathroom, shut the door, and start with some little trunk twists. So just twist your upper body and it should feel really, really good. Another nice stretch you can do that feels really nice after that cramped sitting in those uncomfortable seats is to bring your arms up overhead, grab onto one wrist, and side bend. Feels really nice in the side waist right here. So grabbing onto the wrist and side bend. Come up, grab onto the other wrist, and side bend. So you're really stretching out this side. And then to really work those obliques, you can do this in a tiny little bathroom on an airplane, no problem at all. So you're just gonna really pull your belly button to your spine and exhale as you crunch. A couple more times. Now, when you are on long haul flights especially, you wanna do nice heel raises where you lift your heels off the ground and work those calf muscles. This helps to pump the blood back up to the heart to prevent your blood from cooling down in your ankles and your lower legs. It helps bring the circulation, get the circulation moving. So go ahead and do some heel raises and then you can add a squat. So down and then up on your tiptoes, down, up on your tiptoes from the side, down, up, down, up, down, up. How about five more? Four more. Really sit back. And two more. Last one. Again, every time I stood up, I was going onto my tiptoes. So the last thing you can do to really move things around before you sit back in your airplane chair are some hip circles. You knew it was coming. So little hip circles each direction, or you can try hip figure eights. So these are circles. Figure eights, you're going to be going like this with your hips. So up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. See how my hips are drawing a figure eight? Feels really nice in the obliques. You should feel that really strongly right here and here, here and here. So a few of those and then shake it all out and go back to your, your chair. So when you're sitting in your airplane, Seat. Two things that you can do without bothering your companions too much are to take your hands on the rest, the seat rest, or the whatever those are called, the arm rest, and press down, exhale, and lift your bottom off the seat. This really just helps to work your arms for one thing and also brings a lot of space into the joints in your spine. It feels really good. Take some of that pressure off your rear end too. So that's a nice one. And then of course, little heel lifts like this, just up and down with your heels. No one will even know you're doing it. You can also march in place, anything <laughs> to just move those legs and get the blood flowing. So when you're off the plane, and if you are waiting at a, a layover stop, if you have some time, I really encourage you, even if it's boring, to just walk the halls, walk around. Don't, you know, unless you really need to, don't just sit around checking your iPhone or your, um, you know, reading a book, because you'll have plenty of time to do that on the flight, on the next leg of your flight. So just get some walking in. 
go into a bathroom stall, again the bathroom, but an airport bathroom stall and do some nice big squats. Really get down there, get deep with your squats. And another move you can do at a layover is, you know how they have the sitting um, benches and seats all over the airport? This stretch feels so great for the front of your hip. You just bring your leg, your foot up on the seat and you shift your body weight forward. So immediately you feel a nice stretch right here. After all that sitting, you're gonna, you're gonna need this stretch. So you feel that there. And then you can bring your hand up overhead and just feel that, maybe lean back a little bit. You can also lean away, so side bend this way. And it feels so good in that hip flexor, um, iliopsoas area. Oh, it feels delicious. Come up and then of course to the other side. So again, just shifting forward, feeling that stretch, bringing the arm up, and then side bending away from that hip. Okay, so I hope these helped. So in flight, you've got your little chair exercises, you've got your bathroom routine, your bath airplane bathroom routine, and then your things you can do on the layover to keep your heart rate up, get your body moving, keep stretched out and feeling good so you can be refreshed and happy when you arrive at your final destination. So happy travels and we'll see you over at femfusionfitness.com. Bye.